Hello, today I'm just going to show you about one of our ventilators, our old style ventilators. This is Via Via. It's got a screen that can move on a pivot. Mm -hmm. It's got brakes down the back here. Stop it moving. Comes with a test lung attach, as all of our ventilators do. You can see some of the lights down the bottom. You can see it's plugged into mains power there. The internal battery's charging. There's our inhalation port going down to the humidifier bath there. And the white tubing where we exhale from back into the ventilator. Unlike the XL, there's a collection port here to collect the rain out. You do need to just check that this doesn't get full of fluid. If it is, you can simply unscrew it, empty the fluid out while the patient's still ventilating. With the interface, there's hard keys around the outside and soft keys internally. You can see at the moment we're currently ventilating in PRVC, SIMV, which is a mode we commonly use to set a volume control on this ventilator. To change any of the settings, it's a touch screen, you can touch, and then you can use the dial to make adjustments and then press the accept button. In this mode you can see we set a respiratory rate, a tidal volume, an inspiratory time, a pressure support, a peak, a flow trigger and an FIO2. Some of the useful and handy functions of this ventilator are being able to easily get into other screens such as loops or standbys. And simply just by touching a couple of buttons, you can easily change your screen. I'm just going to change back to the main screen now, where like most ventilators, you get your three pressure graphs, your three waveforms, pressure, flow, and volume. Two things that's important for every nurse to do on their shift is to check the setup on the side here, to make sure we're in adult as we don't have pediatrics or neonates to check that our leak compensation is off, which it should be for an endotracheal tube. Something else that we need to check on this ventilator at the start of every shift is our alarm limits. And we must be careful because the default alarm limits, as you can see, are very wide on this ventilator. It's important they're changed to an appropriate level for your patient. Just going to put it on standby here or show you how to change the modes quickly. You can just go to modes down here. There's pressure support. The two typical modes we use on this are PRVC and pressure support. You simply touch the button and press mode accept. Soon you'll see that it will alarm. At the moment it's green up the top indicating there's no alarm active. It will soon alarm in red saying that there's a problem. And when it does, there's a problem there. And soon when the problem resolves, it will then change to yellow. And when it's yellow, it means the problem's resolved. And we can simply hit alarm reset. I'm just gonna turn it off now and show you how to do that. You just go into screens and to standby. Are you sure you want to stop ventilating this patient? Yes. That's all I have to show you of the AVIA today. Hope you enjoy.